Bartolme. Michigan Technological University has released its 2021-2022 Isle Royal Winter Study. Local 3's Brianna McLean is in the studio with more details on the studies. Brianna. For the first time in two years, researchers were able to estimate wolf and moose population on Isle Royal. The findings from the winter study show a good year for the wolves. This past year was um, really exciting. We found that one of the main things that we found was that the wolf population had increased to 28, ro 28 wolves. That's up quite significantly from like the last two years when the, the last count was done. Um, so that's really great news to see that the wolves um, have been doing really well. Um, we know that since the, the wolves were relocated to the island, there have been at least five litters of pups born, one in 2019, two in 2020, and another two litters in 2021. Um, so that's all great news, and we expect that more were born this spring as well. So. Um, yeah, it's all signs that the, the wolf population is now kind of well established and healthy. Wolves have been present on Isle Royal since the 1950s, but in recent years there has been a significant decline in population. Just five years ago there were only two wolves on the island compared to nearly 2,000 moose. Without the presence of a predator on the island, the negative impacts on the ecosystem and environment of Isle Royal was becoming more prevalent. The wolves are the only predator of moose on the island, and so the moose population had increased really, really rapidly without any wolves. And um, because wolf, uh, moose are such large animals, they can eat uh, up to 40 pounds of vegetation a day during the summer. And when you have a really large number of large animals, it can really impact the forest. And so the, the, the Park Service decided to reintroduce wolves to the island, part of the aim was to reduce the number of moose, which in turn would kind of reduce browsing pressure on the forest. The moose population on Isle Royal is down 28% from February 2020. While part of the population decline can be attributed to wolf kills, other factors have also been shown in the study. I think the forest, based on our kind of surveys of the forest this past winter and spring, um, balsam fir, which is the main food source for moose during winter, was in kind of quite bad condition um, because of intensive moose browsing for the last few years. Um, so that was kind of a, a bit of a surprise. We'd hoped that it would start to improve, but it still seemed kind of bad. And hopefully next year, with the reduced number of moose, we'll see some improvement in the growth of those trees. Um, it also seems to have been a pretty bad year for winter ticks that are a parasite of moose. Um, uh, we see a lot of moose that have kind of um, lost hair because of the because they've got a large number of these parasites feeding on them. Um, which you know it happens. You usually see some of that for every year, but this year it seemed quite bad compared to to other years. And so there's lots of different stresses that impact the number of moose on the island. So there's the wolf predation, obviously, but there's also kind of a shortage of food. And then we have parasites on top of that. And so those three things acting together, it's probably why we've seen quite a rapid decline um, over the last couple of years in the number of moose on the island. To read the full report, you can visit isleroyalwolf.org. In the studio, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News.